Hello and welcome back to the Salford City career mode. Uh, it's been a while since I've been back on here. Uh, I've had uh, a lot of stuff happening in real life, so it's nice to be finally back. I do try and get recordings done and uploaded when I can. But we are looking at taking on Accrington Stanley. We are at home. We're currently at the top of the league after 35 games. We only drew one. We're not doing too bad. But, uh, yeah. Accrington Stanley are currently sitting in 16th position. After 36 games, they've won 10, drew 7 and lost 19. So form would hopefully dictate that we do come away today with the three points. We have home advantage, but will the home fans be ready for this game? So let's get straight into it and we'll find out. Here we go on a typical day. It is raining as we are at home taking on Accrington Stanley. We do have some heavy rotations in the squad today due to fitness. But do these boys have what it takes? We do have the number 13, Arneson, the young goalkeeper in between the sticks. Can he do the number today? And will these boys prove a point against a lackluster Accrington Stanley? Let's get straight into this game and we'll find out. Hey, here is Young Hickey on this left hand side. Can he deliver in a good ball? Oh, a nice cutback. And a good ball in. Ah, oh, just unlucky there. But we are now caught short. Rawson having to chase down Clark on this right hand side. Use your strength. Just clear the ball away. Clear the ball away, boys. Clear the ball away. No messing around. That's Oh, a nice ball through. Oh, Connolly just couldn't get there. Didn't have the legs. Oh, Fossey is putting in a good challenge to get that ball. Just couldn't keep it on. Oh, a nice uh, fake ball in there. And a good swung ball in was all that was needed. Oh, and a woeful effort there. And Accrington Stanley can that we capitalise. Oh, unlucky there, young Roland. Just not knowing where the ball's going to land. Oh, Hamilton, beautiful. Make a run, Connolly. That's it. Get past your striker. Get past the striker. The defender, sorry. Oh, a tame effort there on the peg. Easy save there for the keeper down low. The fourth and official has Hamilton. indicated Passing more than two minutes of added time. Can you get there first? Ah, just too much pace on the ball as it was played through. Start of the second half. The, the boys need to start creating more chances. They're not really pressuring Accrington Stanley too much. Seems that Accrington Stanley are oh, withstanding the pressure. Oh, this is a good ball. What a way to start the second half. Oh, and Connolly couldn't find it. Unlucky there for the Salford man. Flick a good ball up for Connolly. Oh, and he's headed effort just wide of the mark. Not a bad effort. Pretty good header. The wet conditions probably playing a part in that one. Oh, surely referee. Oh, fair enough. I'll hit <laughs> that tackle. Past your man, Hassan Ali. You've got the legs. Come on, push past your man. Get a good ball in. Oh, no one really, really reading the ball. Oh, Salford yet to find the back of the net. Oh, and here's a chance. Oh, Connolly, not enough on it. Just needed a bit more pace on that pass, and it could have broken the deadlock in this game. Well, here comes Accrington Stanley. Oh, and another poor pass from Accrington Stanley there. Come on, Rawson, get your head on it. What are you doing? Get the ball clear. We don't need passing back like that crap. Come on. Oh, and a good chance here. Come on, Hassan Ali. Can you find the back of the net? Oh, no, he can't. He shanks it. Just doesn't get the right contact. The players just can't keep the ball at the minute. Oh, and a good cut out. Come on, Hamilton, on your bike. 
Hamilton, come on, you're 90 odd pace. Use it. Oh, and an effort again. Come on, Salford. Pull your finger out. You're not chasing any ball down. Oh, their keeper is on point today. Salford just not capitalising on any chance that they're creating. 90 minutes, too many chances squandered. But their goalkeeper did absolutely fantastic. Look at this. Accrington Stanley had no shots. We had 11 shots, 9 of them on target. And we just could not find the back of the net. The boys definitely need to pull their finger out in the next game. A, a team near the bottom of the table. And we just couldn't get it goal past them. So it does end 0-0 against Accrington Stanley. Under the night sky as we take on sixth place Oxford United we are again at home but can we find the back of the net this time we do have Brolin in between the sticks because McLaughlin is out on international duty we have made also another couple of changes but will that be the difference between a win or this game let's try and get the three points against a very strong team Waiting for a good run to be made by Varela on this right hand side. Looking for bodies to run in the box. Good ball in. Oh. The ball just needed to be uh, swung in a little bit better. He was just over the head of a bass. He did try. Just unlucky with that, that effort there. Beautiful. He'll just waiting for bodies. And here's a chance. Oh, and a good save from Eastwood. A bass with a powerful effort. The number 10. Good push through. Beautiful strike on the right peg. And a beautiful save as well from the keeper. A nice left header. Off target though. A bass is trying everything he can in today's game. All the players need to be putting in 110%. That draw against Accrington Stanley needs to be doing far better. Oh, and a good cut out. I'll see you in there. Oh, just trying a bit of trickery to get past his man. Oh, it was a good strike there from a bat. Oh, the keeper equal to it. And a strike. Oh, and another good save there from the keeper. Down low to his left-hand side. What a beautiful save. And a pass again. Beautiful strike. And here come Oxford on the break. How's about we start chasing the ball down, boys? Stop hogging and just watching everything. Get it away. Uh, the fans definitely want to be seeing more from their boys. The only player that is actually trying is a bass. But to no avail. But how Oxford going to make us pay? How have they still got the ball? The defence need to wake up. Fosu almost getting a chance. They're not closing them down quick enough. Has that draw in the last game affected him? And oh, an easy header. How is Anderson six foot something not getting that? He's not getting in front of his man. Salford, wake up, boys. And a good ball through for a pass. Oh, and he shanked it. Just didn't get the right contact on it. Really unlucky there. But here they come down this left-hand side. We just can't chase them down. Far too easy. Get that ball away. Don't screw around with it. It's in diarrhea with more movement. Now give me a centre-back. Kidding me. 
You want to give me anyone but the players that are near the ball. Referee, kiss my ass. That is ridiculous. A penalty? What? Are you kidding? What? How's about you let me pick the player that's near the ball? Are you kidding? What? You make me... You don't let me pick a player near the ball. Well, Oxford is winning by one goal to nil. Oxford United goal. You've got to be taking it. James you really ha That is not the pass we're expecting. Pass the ball! You spun! Oh, my. The player selection today is absolute dog shit. Don't even think. Give me a centre-back near the ball. Oh, and look at that lucky little bounce. Where's it go? The only fucking place it knows how to go. Straight to them. Uh oh, how the fuck have you still got that ball? I have no idea what to say. It's just not letting me pick players that are near the ball. And when you do put in a very good tackle, they can just pull that shit out the bag. 2-0 to Oxford. Whatever is going on with Salford, they need to pull their fingers, clean out their arseholes, and get on their bike, because this is ridiculous. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. What? Are you kidding me? What is with the... Oh, the lucky bounce! Come on! FIFA 20 with realistic graphics and ball physics. My ass! Get out of it. So the game didn't go as planned. Salford City with eight shots, four on target. Oxford United were by far the better team. They had 11 shots, 7 on target. Not a bad day at the office for Oxford coming to our ground and uh, showing us how it's done. But the boys' performances, they definitely need to be picking it up. I don't know where it's gone, but it's absolutely ridiculous. We lose 2-0 to Oxford. So... Been looking around, and there's this Jared Branthwaite. I do believe that um, Everton just signed him from Carlisle. So I'm going to try to see if I can get him. He's only worth 70000 500 weekly wage. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get a deal done. Hopefully we can. It's cheap enough. He's supposed to be a good young upcoming uh, talent. And that's what we like to try and bring in. Uh, let's offer a transfer fee. It's worth 70. So we can try and lowball them with a 50,000. Will they accept it? That's a fair offer. They're happy with that. Okay. So let's see if we can bring this uh, young English uh, talent into the team. Yes, he's 52 rated. But he's 6 foot 4. Got a high defensive work rate. And, I mean, he's got to be good if uh, Everton have just picked him up. So, uh, let's get into it and let's see if we can get a deal over the line for this young English defender. Right, so, squad roll. We'll have him as a prospect. Hopefully he accepts that. Yes, he does. That's fine. He wants a five-year deal. That's fine by me. Uh, doesn't want a release clause. Good, because you wasn't getting one. He's currently on a 500 wage. If we have uh, 600, will he take? That's a fair offer. The client's happy. We're just giving him a hundred pound more, and uh, he will be joining us pretty soon. So, not bad. Here we go as we take on 11th place, Tranmere Rovers. We are away from home. Our form has been absolutely dreadful. 
the boys definitely need to be picking it up so in midfield we're bringing back the captain towel and the man number eight Pepic oh, it's nice to have their fitness back can they be the difference in midfield hopefully it can let's try and get the three points today or at least put in a good performance well here's young Roland waiting for a good run to be made by Connolly and he has come on Connolly find the back of the net and it does come on Salford strike first Connolly the goal scorer everyone chasing him down they know what this goal means is this going to be the start where Salford finally pick up some form the last two games they played absolutely dreadful but Connolly finding the back of the net there maybe this is the spark that was needed one goal just to ignite it all look at what it means to the manager and look at what it means to the fans absolutely fantastic a goal from Aaron Connolly in the sixth minute that's 18 goals in league one now for him and it is 1-0 to Salford City against Tranmere Rovers Good ball down this left, just waiting for a bass to run in. Oh, and the ball far too heavy there, but take a strike. Oh, flick just over the bar there from Connolly. Just had to swing and try to get his body round it. Pepe getting the ball taken off his toes, giving Maddox a chance. Marking your men, boys. Oh, and a good save down low there from Arneson. Had to be alert. Mullin, the number nine, putting his lace through that one. And a very, very good save from the keeper. How did he get that header? Mullin is causing all sorts of problems at the minute. We had three men near him, and not a single one of them could get the ball. Oh, just looking. Oh, here's a bass. Oh, and he just spoons it. All he needed was a dessert to go with that spoon. Oh, that was a good cutout. Pepe in the right place. Oh, and a lucky ricochet. Oh, teams are getting really lucky. Maddox. I tell you what, Tramir are causing all sorts of issues. Oh, and a good ball. Keep the ball, Hickey. Keep the ball. Take a strike, Connolly. Oh, and it's in. Connolly scores the second goal of the game for Salford City. Come on, boys. This is what we want to see. The fans in the background. Well, not them ones. <laughs> But the Salford City fans will be happy to see the ball go in the back of the net twice in this game so far. Connolly, what a beautiful effort. Right, Peg. Let's have a look. Oh, ho, ho, only just keeper could have almost got to that one. 2-0 to Salford City and it's only been 31 minutes. Can the boys keep up this form? The fans will be hoping so. Their past two games really haven't been too much to be desired. But here's Tower waiting for a run to be made for him. A bass. Here is a bass. Oh, and the P roller stroked in the back of the net like it's a cat on his lap. Absolutely fantastic. The young Egyptian, the number 10, finding the back of the net. How hard he has tried. And he finally gets his goal. Beautiful ball through to get, find him in the first place. And uh, nicely slotted away by the young Egyptian on the old right peg. Absolutely fantastic there from Nada Abbas. It's three goals now in this game. And it's 26 goals in the league for Nada Abbas. 3-0 to Salford City start of the second half there's been one change Pepic has come off and the young Gordon has come on 
He uh, does make some quality stuff when he's brought on. So let's swing a good ball in. Get in there, Abbas. Don't stay behind your man. And a good header. Oh, Tauble with a powerful header there. On this right-hand side. We need to close them down pretty quick. Just can't seem to get near them. Just kick that ball away from the goal. So here's Jon Gordon. Always has an impact. Oh, and he skips over one. Plays the ball through to Connolly. Looking for his hat-trick. And he finds it. Connolly with his third goal of the game. With hat-trick hero of the day. And young Gordon is the guy that sets it up. Like we say, he's low-rated, but he always has a fantastic impact. Absolutely brilliant there to get the hat-trick today. Connolly is surely going to be the man of the match for Salford. The goal in the 65th minute. That's his 20th goal now in League One. Absolutely brilliant. And their Rovers at the minute can't be touched. There it is, Salford finally get a win. Beating Tranmere Rovers 4-0. Connolly with a hat-trick, five attempts and three goals. Absolutely fantastic day at the office for the boys today. What a performance. We had eight shots, six on target to their six shots, two on target. Absolutely brilliant from every single player out there today. Pepic didn't do too well, but Young Gordon come on and does what he does best and put in a brilliant performance with an 8.2. Absolutely fantastic from the young number 18. So, good day today for the away fans of Salford City. 4-0 against Tranmere Rovers. Well, that is the end of this episode. Uh, things didn't quite go to plan. We took on Accrington Stanley at home and we got a 0-0 draw. We then took on Oxford at home and we got pummeled 2-0. Those two games, the boys were just nowhere to be seen. And then they come from nowhere away from home against Tranmere Rovers and we come back 4-0 winners. What an absolutely fantastic way to get your form back. Absolutely brilliant. But in the next one, we'll be taking on Fleetwood at home. We'll then be taking on Luton Town in the Leasing.com Trophy Final. And then we'll end it off with a game in the League One against Bristol Rovers. And it is an away game. Three very difficult games considering the form the boys have been in. But hopefully you join me in the next one. If you did enjoy this, as always, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And until then, I will see you all very soon. And this, the Salford City Career Mode.